Welcome to the Better Life Podcast. I'm April. So glad you're listening or watching today. In this episode, we are doing part two of things you will never hear God say. If you didn't catch part one, I'll link it below so you can be sure and watch that. Today, we're going to start with number 12, things you'll never, ever, ever hear God say. You ready for it? He'll never say your sins are too big to forgive. Aren't you so glad about that? Listen to these scriptures. Ephesians says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Thank God for his grace. Psalm says this, You, O Lord, are ready to forgive and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Psalm 103, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his mercy. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. No matter what sin you've committed, your sin is not too great for God to forgive. So don't believe the lie of the enemy that you've done something too bad and you're too far out of God's reach. The next thing, number 13, that God will never say is your past disqualifies you. He's not going to say it. Second Corinthians says, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Isaiah says this, don't remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. See, your past does not define you. Your past does not disqualify you. If you believe that, that is not a thought from God. It is a lie of the enemy. God will never say your past disqualifies you. Remember, he uses imperfect people. The other thing or the next thing you'll never hear God say is this. You have no purpose. The scripture says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. God has a future in store for you. He has hope in store for you. He will never say to you, you don't have a purpose in this world. You don't have a place in this world. You have to think about it like this. God said to Esther, you were appointed for such a time as this. That's how he feels about you. You're on this earth for such a time as this. He has great plans and a great future in store for you. Galatians says this, Before I was born, God chose me by His marvelous grace. You're chosen by God and you have a purpose. Number 15, something you'll never hear God say is this, You will never find peace. The scripture says in Philippians 4, 7, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. You will have peace. 2 Thessalonians says, Now may the Lord of grace himself give you peace always and in every way. One more. Isaiah 26, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose minds are steadfast on him. See, the lie of the enemy is to make you think you're never going to have peace. Those anxious thoughts are never going to go away. Those tormenting thoughts are never going to leave you. No, God will never say you'll never have peace. He promises you peace. You got to search for it. You have to go after it. He will keep your heart and mind at peace. Another thing you will never hear God say, and this is so important, you will never hear God say, you will never get your miracle. The scripture says in Matthew, with God, all things are possible. Exodus says this, so you shall serve the Lord your God and he will bless your bread and water and take sickness away from the midst of you. You might be going through a sickness right now. and You may think God will never heal, heal me. Or maybe you think the day of miracles is over or if God wills, he will heal me. No, he will heal you. The day of miracles is not over. God is not a respecter of persons. He doesn't do do for one and not to another. Jeremiah said this, says this, for I will restore health to you and heal you of all your wounds. You will never, ever, ever hear God say, you will never get your miracle. Another thing that you'll never hear God say is, I don't hear your prayers. I heard someone say this to me the other day. I don't think God hears me. I think I'm too far gone. I think I've done too many wrong things. I don't think he listens when I cry out to him. That is not the truth. 1 John 5, 14 says this, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, 
Guess what? He hears us. Jeremiah 29 says, You will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. I mean, I'm glad to know that God listens to our prayers. Psalm 50, verse 15, Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. God is not on the other side of heaven ignoring you. God hears your prayers, and not only does He hear them, but He answers them if we're listening to Him. Another thing you'll never hear God say, oh, and this is so good, you'll never hear God say, you are not good enough. The scripture says in John 6, 37, all that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will not cast out. God is not going to turn his back on you. He's not going to cast you out. He's not going to say you're not good enough for me. God loves you with an everlasting love. See, it's not what you do. It's what he's already done. Another thing you'll never hear God say is this. You will never be happy. Psalm 30 says this. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing and put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. Now, what does that mean? That's a lot of funny words in there. That means may, you may not be happy right now, but you're going to be happy. You, you are going to laugh again. You are going to smile again. You are going to enjoy life again. Psalm 1611 says, you will show me the path of life. Your, in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Remember, God comes to give you joy. The enemy comes to steal your joy. You are not who the enemy says you are. You are who God says you are. And God says that you will have an abundant life, a life that's overflowing. You will have that exceedingly abundantly in your life. And I believe you will have that exceedingly abundantly amount of happiness and joy in your life. God will never say to you, you will never be happy again. Another thing God will never say to you is there is no hope for you. The scripture says in Romans, Now may the God of hope fill you with joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, hope has a name, and that name is Jesus Christ. And God will never say to you, there's no hope. You know, you, you're on your last leg, you're on your own. He'll never say that to you. Psalm 71, 5 says, You are my hope, O God. You are my trust from my youth. The scripture says in Hebrews, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Y'all, you can always count on God. You can always count on him to see you through the difficult things that you're going through. Another thing that you will never hear God say is this, no one cares about you. The scripture says in 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you. God cares about every detail of your life. He cares about you when you wake up in the morning, when you're going out through the, going about through the day. He cares about the situations that you're facing. He cares about your family. The scripture says in Isaiah 49, can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on her son at her womb? Surely they may forget, yet, yet I will not forget you. God cares about you. He's concerned about you. He's working behind the scenes for you. Don't give up. God will never say no one cares about you. Another thing that God will never say about you is your life has no value. Now, that is a lie of the enemy that he's telling so many people. The scripture says in Ephesians 2.10, you are God's masterpiece. And listen to this, these verses in Isaiah. I love this translation. It says, don't be afraid. I've redeemed you. I've called you by your name. You're mine. When you're in over your head, I'll be there with you. When you're in rough waters, you will not go down. When you're between a rock and a hard place, it will not be a dead end because I am God, your personal God, the Holy One of Israel. Lamentation says this, yet I still dare to hope when I remember this, the faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies are new every single morning. God will never say to you, I've run out of mercy. This scripture proves that his mercies are new every single morning. 
the last thing that I'm covering today that you will never hear God say is, your heart will always be broken. The scripture says in Psalm 147, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Another scripture in Psalm says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. That may be to you today. You may feel like your heart's never going to mend, that those bad feelings are never going to go away. No, you will never hear God say that your heart will, will always be broken. God is here to mend your broken heart, to put the pieces of your life back together, to get you on solid ground, and to get you to that amazing future and destiny that He has for your life. These are 23 things that I've come up with, there's so many more, that you will never, ever, ever hear God say. Hey, if you like what you've heard or watched today, I would love for you to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. And every single week, you'll get a brand new episode. My goal of this podcast and coming to you every single week is to just give you some more hope, to strengthen your faith, to give you a reason to get out of bed every single day and know that God loves you. He cares about you. He has a great plan for your life. So why not just step into that plan? Stop listening to the lies of the enemy and start listening to who God says about you. He thinks you're absolutely amazing. Hey, if you're in the Minneapolis area, Better Life Night is coming to your area on May the 6th, Friday night in Edina, Minnesota, which is Minneapolis. You can find out more information and how to get your tickets at aprilsimons.com. You can follow the link below in the show notes. I would love to see you there. Those of you who couldn't come to Dallas, I'd love to see you in Minneapolis. Hey, until this time next week, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you. Have a fantastic week.